Yeah, uh, good afternoon. It's uh, August 25th, 2012. Uh, I just celebrated my uh, 57th birthday, August 10th. And I noticed I'd always made like a little birthday video. <clears throat> I didn't do it this year. I tried not to really think about it. I had planned on trying to get some things better organized in my life and try to accomplish some things. And I haven't been a hundred percent successful. I've been successful, but not a hundred percent. But uh you know, it's a story of my life. Two steps forward, one step back. I saw a video on YouTube. It was called Eric's Final Confession. And it was this guy from uh, Wisconsin here. I guess he lived in Two Rivers. He had, uh, he was born and raised there. Ended up moving to Milwaukee and took a job with a uh, Harley Davidson company. Worked, uh, in their computer division. He was diagnosed with leukemia when he was 18 years old. And uh, he fought it off. And then a couple years later it came back and they told him, hey, I'm sorry, Eric, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, a subcategory of this particular type of leukemia, which is deadly. And they told the guy, it's terminal. And he refused to die. He said, hey, as long as there's any shred of hope, if there's anything that, you know, you doctors want to do or try, let's do it. Because I don't want to quit. You know, I want to live. And uh, he fought it off again. And he was in remission for like another five years and then it came back and he fought it off and it came back and he fought it off it came back six times and he fought it off and finally it came back for the seventh time and by then his body didn't have any more fight in it you know his mind his mind was in there but his body had finally told him, Eric, we're done. I'm done. You might be done, might not be done, but I'm done. I, I just, I can't do it anymore. And, uh, it'll break your heart if you watch this video. It broke mine. Here's a guy who fought for 10 years to live with every shred of will that he could muster up in this body that he had. I don't know how he did it. A lot of people are referring to him as the bucket guy because he had made a list of these things that he wanted to do in his life and try some new and exciting things before he would die, if he would. You know, he never planned on it. But he thought, just in case, I want to do these things. So he made a list, and he did all these incredible things. But to me, he was more than just a bucket guy. He was a guy that he just fought to the bitter end. You know, and it, it, it really, really breaks my heart because there's been times when things have been tough for me. And they're tough now, but, you know... I'm not, I'm not dying. I could. You know. I could. But I'm healthy. You know, I've been blessed. You know, I look at myself and here I whine and cry about putting on some fat around my gut, which I still have. But, uh, it's normal. I look, at the I look at the medical journals and 
it's like I've read some stuff about aging. And I looked at that and I said to myself, what a bunch of horse shit. Their idea of aging is, let's all gather around the fire and join hands and sing closer to thee, my Lord. You know, there's no way in hell I'm going down without a fight. You know, I've always said that. But I've been healthy, you know. I didn't have cancer eating my body alive and trying to fight something like that off. So my hand, my hat goes off to this Eric McLean. Um, he died, I think he died Thursday. Today's Sunday. He died like 10 days after he made his final video. And I read in the, another news report that after he had made this final video, that things took a, a turn for the worse. And you know what? They didn't take a turn for the worse. After he made this video, this guy came to the conclusion that the fight's over. You know? And <laughs> he didn't fight anymore. You know, he didn't take a turn for the worse. He decided, look, I can't do this anymore. You know, my body has told me I'm done. Sorry, Eric. I did my best. And that was it. Ten days later, he was done. So, God bless this guy. He's an example to everybody. You know, he really is. So, keep training, keep fighting, and you know I'm going to. Um, I did, uh, I did find a job. I'm going in Monday, we're going to take a test, and i got to go someplace and get my urine tested to see if I've got any marijuana in there. Which I don't. So I should be glad. You know. The most important thing on, on my mind right now is. Paying my bills so I don't lose my. My humble home here. Because. I wouldn't last long outside. Especially this winter. I wouldn't last. I'd be done in a week or two. So. I'm going to take this job. And uh, I'm going to still continue doing my projects, which I'm going to do anyway. <laughs> projects are my life, but I'm going to try to uh, do some things and try to improve my mind. You know, I've always been big on him improving my mind but I've got to improve I mean improve my body but I've got to improve my mind and my outlook and my spirit I know I can create some better things in my life it's not going to be easy um, it's not in my nature but you know this old dog can learn some new tricks so hang in there everybody keep training Keep smiling. Till next time.